I heard one time that everybody in your life is going to fit into one of three categories. They're either going to be there for a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. And unfortunately, we can't always control which of those categories people fit in. I'm Nick Carpenter, and this is your Friday Quickie. So last year in 2013, and even in the beginning of 2014, I was working really, really, really closely with a couple of guys that were running a big mastermind group. And what's funny is like I envisioned myself growing and, and becoming like a partner with these guys and, and just going on to make millions of bucks, right? Like I really thought that that was the path I was going to go on. And abruptly, like really for no reason at all, one of the guys totally just like blocked me on Facebook, told me to screw off. We're never working together again. And it was it was really weird. And man, it affected me for a long time, right? Like at least a month or two or three months, it was affecting me. It was really hard because I called this person a friend. I trusted him. I put a lot of blood and sweat and, and time equity into his projects. And for them to just drop me like that, it was really, really hurtful. You know, I mean... I didn't know what I was going to do. So, you know, I mean, obviously now I'm cool, right? I'm like totally over it. And I see these guys going through like horrible life situations, you know, like divorce and just like a lot of unhappiness and stuff. And, you know, really I'm thankful that those guys were in my life only for a season, right? And not for a lifetime. Because I think a lot about the fact that, you know, I'm watching them go through a divorce or not really watching it because he blocked me on Facebook, but... I'm hearing about it all the time that he's going through a divorce and he's spiraling downwards and all these things, right? And I just imagine, man, what would have happened to me if I was still right there with him, right? If I was still running the same path that he's running, you know, would that kind of stuff be happening to me in my life as well, you know? And and now, you know, I look at like being partnered up with my new partner, you know, and family values is the most important thing to him. And I'm just so thankful for that, you know? And But it's just weird how at the time I was upset and depressed almost by the fact that like I wasn't going to get to work with these guys anymore, you know, and I wasn't going to be a part of that group anymore, but it's really in the end, it's worked out better for me, you know, and like I'm the one here smiling with a beautiful family and, and loving my life and, you know, making money and everything that's important, you know, I mean, but I still have my family, right? I didn't forget that having success and having money, having success in business doesn't mean you have to lose everything else that you've built, right? You don't have to lose relationships. You don't have to lose your family. You don't have to lose your faith and your core values. You don't have to lose those things in order to have success in business. And, and sometimes people can forget that, right? So just keep that in mind. You know, if you're going to do something or maybe somebody has is out of your life and you thought they'd be in your life for a long time, just remember, like, they're either there for a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. And ultimately, we can't always choose what that is. But man, I'm so thankful that this situation worked out the way that it did. And uh, I'm here the one smiling today. Suckers. See ya.